Good morning, crew, and welcome to Life Drawing with Miss Liberty. I'm Miss Liberty, and for the next six weeks, we're going to learn how to see the world as an artist and a scientist. You might ask me, what's the difference between life drawing and regular drawing? Well, I would tell you that life drawing is drawing from actual life. We're going to draw things so that they look realistic and almost like you just took a picture of them after a lot of practice, of course. In this course, we're going to learn how to draw objects realistically. And in the last couple of weeks, we're going to draw a self-portrait that'll look just like that. You see life drawing in all aspects of your daily lives. There's life drawing in technical drawing, like when they design tools, toys, amusement parks, and cars. You see life drawing in scientific drawing, where they record botanicals and other natural parts of life. You see life drawing in media, animation, storyboarding, and journalism. So I'm really excited to introduce you guys to the world of life drawing. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, kids. In life drawing with Miss Liberty, we're going to use the following tools in order to accomplish our goals. So first in your toolkit, we've included some paper. Actually, we've included quite a bit of paper because the paper is where we're gonna do most of our practicing or our sketching, which we'll get into in a little moment. So we're gonna start by making one of the most important artist tools. We're going to make a sketchbook. So start by taking three sheets of the paper we've given you or of your own. We could set the rest aside for now. Stack those three sheets of paper on top of each other and fold them corner to corner like a taco. Crease the bottom of it, and there we go. We should have our sketchbook. So go ahead and set your sketchbooks aside for now. We are not going to use these until a moment later. Now also in your toolkit, you might have a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, go ahead and take another sheet of the paper we've given you and fold it over itself once, like a hot dog. Fold it over itself again, like a hot dog, until you have a sturdy straight edge that you can make lines up against. We're going to use this to make straight lines and to measure it. So go ahead and set that aside as well. We've also included a piece or maybe a couple of pieces of watercolor paper. We're going to use this as our masterpieces. If we were um, painters with acrylic paint or oil, this would be our canvas or our wooden board, but we have watercolor paper. So take very good care of this paper. You only get one, so take get very good care of it. There is also a pack of color pencils in your toolkit, we're gonna to use this to add color to our masterpieces to make them look more realistic, but we won't use these till later in the lesson. So you could set those aside as well. We've included a Sharpie fine tip marker. This way you can, you can emphasize the uh, shadows and the edges on your uh, sketches and renderings. So set that aside, but oh, remember, the Sharpie bleeds through paper, so if you are going to draw on your sketchbook, remember to take a piece of paper and put it underneath. So go ahead and set that aside as well. We also included an eraser in your toolkit. This is your best friend. This is what erases your mistakes if you've made your pencil marks too dark. It also erases the pencil marks on your masterpiece once we've added ink to it. So go ahead and set your eraser side. We won't need this during the sketching process. Last but most importantly, we've included a number two pencil, which conveniently has an eraser on the edge. Go ahead and Grab the other item we included in your toolkit, which is your pencil sharpener. Uh, be careful with this in case your blade is exposed. Don't cut yourself. So let's go ahead and take a second to sharpen our pencils if you haven't already. So I'm going to demonstrate how to use the pencil before you guys start sketching and we start warming up. I'm going to take out a sheet of paper and I'm going to show you how you might be drawing. Are you holding a pencil like this? Are you doing it like you would if you were writing your name? 
Well, we're not writing our names today. We're sketching and we're drawing. So we're going to hold the pencil a little bit further back. We're going to hold it kind of like a pair of chopsticks between these two fingers and balanced on this finger. And instead of this range of motion where I can't really move too much, now I get this range of motion. What makes sketching different than drawing? Well, sketching is usually light, fast marks. So you might not be able to draw this, but I'm gonna draw a very quick eye. So I'm sketching my circle, sketching my curves, sketching another curve, and another, and another, and it's fast, quick lines. It's not very exact, not very precise, because we're just trying to get an idea. Sketching is part of drawing, and it's how we get a better plan of what we're going to draw. So the better you are at sketching, the better you'll get at drawing. So remember, don't hold the pencil like this. Hold the pencil like this. Make big marks. Use your fingers. Use your hand. Use your whole arm if we wanted to make a big circle. So why are we sketching? Because we want to warm up before we do our drawing. Let me explain to you a little bit more about warming up. So go ahead and set everything aside and listen for a second before you pull out your sketchbook. Yeah. Okay, crew, now that we've set up all of our tools for today's lesson, let's go ahead and get warmed up. Why are we getting warmed up? Well, artists are kind of like athletes. We need to get warmed up before the game. So let's go ahead and get started by shaking out our fingers, shaking out our hands, shaking out our arms, and shaking out our brain. So artists use what's called muscle memory, which athletes also use. So that's when you do something a lot, and so your body remembers how to do it, so it's easier the next time. And artists don't just have muscle memory in their fingers, their hands, and their arms, but we also have muscle memory in our brain. So while you're getting your hands, fingers, and arms warmed up, also get your brain ready, because we're going to start sketching. So let's get started. Okay, guys, go ahead and pull out your sketchbooks. Pull out your pencil. You don't need any other paper. You don't need your sharpener. You don't need your straight edge. You just need your sketchbook. So go ahead, hold the pencil the way you do when you're right and write your name at the top. So this way, you know, it doesn't get confused with belonging to anyone else. Open up to the first page of your sketchbook. And we're going to do sketching. Day one. And to warm up, we're going to start with the most basic artist warm up. We're going to practice drawing circles. So go ahead. And now that you're warmed up, start with making one little circle. And do it lightly. Remember, we're using our sketching hand. So we're not drawing dark circles. Don't do that. I want light circles. Check. So don't take up the whole page. Start right up at the top. Make a couple small circles. Try making a light circle and then going over that same circle. And then go over it again until you get the circle you want. Slightly getting darker and darker until you define your edge. You have a nice dark circle there. So we start out with sketching the circle and then we end up defining it. And then that's the drawing part. So try making some bigger circles. Remember, we're sketching, so you could just keep going over it. You don't need an eraser. We're sketching. This is just practice. All right, and then try to make a bigger circle. So once you have a circle of each size, you have a small circle, you have a medium circle, and you have a big circle, you're ready to move on to the next part of sketching. So in Drawing with Miss Liberty, we're learning how to see the world as an artist. In the next class, we'll learn how to see the world as a scientist. But as an artist, how do you see the world as an artist? Well, we see things in shapes, shapes like we did in Elements of Art. So we see circles, we see squares, we see triangles. Let's break down this pencil. Look at this pencil as an artist. How can you see it so that it's better for you to draw? Well, 
The front of the pencil kind of looks like a triangle. The body of the pencil is just a really long rectangle. And then the base of the pencil is a rectangle and a square. So if we look at the pencil like an artist, we could do our rectangle and our triangle. and our other rectangle, and our square. And we have the beginning of a pencil. So why don't you practice doing your circles? You already got those down. Practice your squares. Using our sketching hand, practice your triangles. And then as an artist, we also see things in three dimension. So we would take our triangle and turn it into a cone by adding a curve onto it. And then we would take our rectangle here and turn it into a cylinder by adding some curves to it. And then this would also be a cylinder, right? Because our pencil's round. So this is based on a cylinder. And then our eraser has rounded corners. So that looks a little bit more like a pencil. So go ahead and take your circles and practice turning them into cylinders by adding sides and a back to it. You could also add some more form to it by adding a shadow. We'll get more into shadows as we move on in the lessons. Go ahead and take your square or your rectangle using our sketching hands and turn it into a cube by adding sides and a back to it. And we're gonna turn our triangle into a cone by curving the bottom and adding some form. So once you have a cylinder, a cube, and a cone that you're happy with, and you have an assortment of circles, and you feel comfortable holding the pencil like an artist, then you should be all warmed up and ready for next week's lesson. Okay. okay, group. Thank you so much for joining me today in our first lesson of Life Drawing with Miss Liberty. Remember to be patient with yourself. It takes a lot of practice before you become a master artist. Like I said, you'll have your sketchbooks to do your practice, and then we'll do our masterpiece on our final sheets of paper. In next week's lesson, we're going to focus on seeing the world as a scientist and adding details to our artistic sketches. Next week, you're going to need three objects to draw like an artist in shapes like we drew shapes today. If you don't have three objects of your own, we're going to use our Sharpie, our sharpener, and our eraser and draw them next week. I look forward to seeing you again, and I really hope you enjoyed doing our work today. Thank you, crew. Have a great day and enjoy art.